Let's see how we can create circuits. Let's review the creation of the devices. We go to Systems, Electrical. We're putting outlets by a power system and we have to supply the conference room, administration and office. We place these devices in some strategic places. Here where the computer can be and here we'll place two, the same on this side. Now, the thing is that after placing the devices, we can select them. If you select one, it only says create a system. We see this in the modified tab, which appears contextually, depending on the connector that exists within the device. This will allow creating different types of systems. We will do it with an example. Let's see this with an example in systems, electrical devices. But in this case, instead of using a power device, we will use data. If I place a data connection, the same as here in the office, when selecting the data device, the type of system it creates is data. If we choose an outlet, the system will be power. Depending on the connector the family is using, it will allow creating different types of systems. We will create a power system. We use power, and this creates the circuit. For now, it is only made up of these elements, but we can edit it. Click Edit Circuit, and note that there is the option to add or remove elements to the circuit. We select several, and when adding it, Notice that their color goes from being opaque to a line without opacity, totally black. By doing this, we have added all the elements to the circuit and we can finish. Notice that before finishing, you could select a panel that controls the circuit. For this, we have just started to place the devices and we have not yet chosen the equipment and it is not necessary to have any equipment to create a circuit. Later, we will see how to use different types of panels to manage the circuits. For now, we press Finish. If you place your mouse on any of these devices and press the Tab key, it will make a dashed line or a logical wire connection of all those devices that are within the element, that is, within the circuits. Another way to create a circuit is to select all the devices. Here we have to select it. And now we press the option Create Data Circuit. The circuit is also created. We will not have to add it, but it creates it automatically. Later we will see other options. Also, when we create a circuit, we have information about what is happening inside, depending on the electrical characteristics where we can see that information. If we are going to the View tab and check the System Explorer that we have previously talked about in Spaces, note that when changing from Zones to Systems, it is showing us Electrical Systems. It is precisely showing us the data system we just created and the power system. For now, it does not have names because we usually give it a number after they belong to a panel. For now, they do not have any name, but we could assign it to them. Also note that it shows us all the devices that are inside, in what space they are placed, and what is the number of the space. Obviously, we could also edit which columns are displayed, and we could put other types of data, such as voltage drop or load classification, even the distribution system. If it is 120, 220, 110, etc., we press OK, and if we extend this visual, here will be the new columns that we have added. It is telling us what the voltage is, what is the load according to the space, what is the classification system, 
They all go into receptacles and the voltage drop has not been calculated yet. We will see later how to make these types of configuration. We must remember that when we create circuits, it will depend on the connectors that are within each family. That will be the type of circuit that we create, data, power, telephony, etc. And also, create a logical unit of the element after placing them, which will allow us to do the calculation later. But as we already mentioned, it will depend a lot on the connectors that are inside the device. So in the next class, we will see how to create these connectors when they are not created by default.